Excellent welcome, I'm your code Maki. So something that I've always done for the past seven years and continue trying to do is basically read through all the comments every single day. This is something that as the channel grows becomes definitely harder and harder, the sheer volume of comments. But still I try to do it as much as I can. My goal is to help you learn, so I'm basically always looking for feedback to see how I can improve. And there is one type of comment, one let's say slight criticism that I see every once in a while that talks about something very important, so over here I want to address it. And like I said, I'm always trying to improve, so I did some actual math in order to try to figure out if those comments are valid, or if it's really more of a perception thing like I think it is. Basically, the general idea behind the type of comment that I'm talking about is something kind of like this, so he only makes talking and asset videos nowadays, he doesn't make useful tutorials anymore. So is this sentiment accurate, or is it very much a perception thing? Here's an example of a comment like this that was posted on Reddit. Someone saying, I really like CodeMonkey, but because he is focused so much on ad revenue, he uploads so many videos that are kind of nothing videos, so now it's hard to find the good ones. And over here I basically replied, so I'm guessing you're referring to the ratio between tutorials versus talking videos. And another similar comment posted on YouTube, so over here your tutorials and course are awesome, too bad you don't make that kind of content anymore, your new videos are all about assets or money talk. Which yep, this is a very valid thing to point out, but is this actually accurate or is this just a perception thing? Do I really just make asset videos nowadays? Do I not make tutorials anymore? The answer is technically yes and also technically no. I used to indeed make a bunch more standalone tutorial videos. For example, this awesome inventory Tetris system, this was cool. I also made a nice grid building system, this was also quite a lot of fun. I made a house building system, both in top view perspective as well as in first and third person. I made a modular spaceship building system where you could build up the various modular parts and then actually make a nice spaceship. This was also another fun one. I have made a character customization system. I made a nice weapon attachment system. I made a tutorial on how to climb ladders. Another one on saving and loading. I've covered how to aim at the mouse in 2D. I covered how to make an awesome third person shooter controller and a bunch more. So yep, I have made a lot of tutorials, but a lot of these were actually made, let's say, over two years ago. In the past few years, I've been mainly focusing on fewer standalone tutorials and more really in-depth courses. Last year, I put out my free C-Sharp course, so this is a 12-hour course. Then I also put out the free dots video, so this is the first seven hours of that course. Then earlier this year, I put out another free course, so this one is on making multiplayer games using Netcode for Game Objects. So this is a three hour course and then another free course on making that same game, but this time using Netcode for NT. So this was another interesting one. And just recently I put out my free Unity 2D course. So this is a five and a half hour course making a really nice Unity 2D game. So this was very much a conscious change. I wanted to cover fewer topics, but cover them more deeply as opposed to covering more topics, but more simple. However, back to the original sentiment. So does this mean that I don't make useful tutorials anymore? As in, in terms of raw sheer amount of actual educational content, am I making less or more than previously? I thought I was making more, but again, I really wanted to do the math in order to figure out am I actually making more or not. So I looked at this entire year, about seven months, and I tried to find which ones were pretty much just straight up tutorials and nothing else. So no talking videos, nothing like that, just straight up tutorials. And basically this year I published all of these videos. So my free to the beginner course, that's great. The multiplayer course, as well as Netcode for Entities. Then a nice tutorial on how to boost your games. A nice tutorial on how to use Unity AI. How to break your desktop, that's a nice one effect. How to make an awesome fantasy RPG. Top 10 C-sharp things you might not know, which I didn't. Then tutorial on basically how to get your desktop directly inside Unity. And two really nice interactive beginner projects. So yep, I made all of this this year. In total, that is 11 tutorials. And then I went back in time. So I went to see the year 2022. And over here trying to see what tutorials was I making back then. And the answer is, yep, right away, I can see quite a bunch more videos. So making animations without animations, how to inspect items, how to draw pixel art, how to do perfect weapon aiming, how to do a backstab like Elden Ring, how to fix some stuttering, how does V Rising work, how to swap your character, do the spaceship building system, Unity authentication tutorial, another tutorial on making a camera system, making an awesome unique crafting system, learning how to use Azure Cloud, the difference between volume and post-processing volume, how to fix read-only animations, how to pick up and drop items. So you have definitely quite a lot more topics than this year, in total 16 tutorials versus 11, but then I did the math trying to see, okay, am I covering fewer topics, but am I actually covering them more deeply or not? And over here, basically doing the math for the 2022 tutorials, over here, in total, this is 3 hours and 35 minutes of really nice educational content. And over here in 2025, even though it's fewer tutorials, in total, there's 14 hours and 58 minutes of really nice educational content. So yes, I am currently making more educational content than pretty much ever before. But also, yes, I have been covering fewer topics. So if you look at my video list, you will definitely see fewer tutorials over this past year, this past two years. But the tutorials that I do make, they are, in general, much more detailed than previous tutorials. Like I said, this was a conscious choice. It didn't really happen by accident. But still, now that I've finished my free Unity 2D course, right now I do think that I want to get back to a bunch of standalone tutorials. There's a bunch of topics that I've always wanted to cover and I never really had the time. That is always my main limitation, it's always time. So right now I am actually planning on making more standalone tutorials for the near future. However, I should also say that the other videos that I make, even if they are not tutorials, they are still meant to be educational. 
For example, this video on are own tutorials obsolete? Basically here I'm talking about how you shouldn't be afraid of following, let's say, five-year-old tutorials because the core concepts don't really change. Then here this video, I made over a million dollars making indie games, so can you do this in 2025? This is a very educational video talking about basically marketing 10 years ago versus now. Then another educational video also about marketing, so this one, this mistake cost $28 million. It's about how one game found insane success, another one not as much success, and the difference between them is genre. So if you want to find success, then I highly recommend you pay very close attention to the genre of the game you're making. Then for example this one, the best design patterns for a game dev. Even though it's technically not a tutorial, it is still very much educational. Video on what do the best programmers do differently. Again, another thing, not necessarily a tutorial, but definitely meant to be educational. Really, my entire purpose with this channel is education. There are pretty much very, very few videos that I make basically for entertainment only. Basically, I know my limitations. I know I'm not good at giving entertainment. So that is why my focus on pretty much every single video that I make, my focus is always going to be on education. So if I just want to clarify this type of comment, this sentiment that I see every once in a while, in terms of raw numbers, I'm definitely producing more educational content than pretty much ever before, but I can also see how it's very much a perception thing, since I'm covering fewer videos that are just straight up tutorials, because then it might seem like I'm making less educational content, but when I do, it is definitely quite a bit more detailed than it was previously. I hope this video helped clarify how I think about the type of content that I make, and basically what you can expect from me as a viewer on this channel. My goal, as always, is definitely to help you learn, so I wish you the best of luck in your learning journey. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.